Hello friends, welcome to Nand Kishore classes. Today we are going to learn how to find LCM using division method. We are going to start with a very easy way. In fact, this is the easiest way of finding LCM and shortest way as well. 4, 8 and 12. Right. So your first step is to identify a number which divides all of them. See, all of them are divisible by 2. So I'm starting with 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, first step is done. Now again, 2, 4 and 6, they all are divisible by 2. So you can do one more step. Write 2 here. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Now, 1, 2 and 3, they are not divisible by any other number. Right? There is no common divisor for them. So, stop doing. Your LCM will be given by product of these left values, which is 2 times 2. And the values horizontally in the last step, 1, 2 and 3, multiply all of them here as well. So see what is the answer? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. Your LCM is 24. I hope you are clear with this method. Same question I am doing again because this is not the only way where we can do. We have started our question by 2 only. Whereas 4, 8 and 12, I know that they all are divisible by 4. So it is not mandatory to start with 2. You can divide directly by 4 also. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times 3 is 12. Now you can stop doing. And your LCM will be. This left value is only 4 now. And bottom values are 1, 2 and 3. You will see you will get same answer. 24 is the LCM. I hope you are clear with the method but this is not the only way. Here after dividing by 4 you were getting 1, 2 and 3. All numbers were not divisible by a common divisor. Sometimes you will get two numbers which can be divided by any other number. We can still continue the question and how can we continue the question we will see in our next parts. Let me clean the board and let us start doing second question now. From the second question, 8, 12, 20. Let us have a look. Now you need to find common divisor 8, 12 and 20. They all are divisible by 4. Right? So, I can start with 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 is 20. That's it then. If you see 2, 3 and 5, even you are not getting any two numbers, they are divisible by a common number. So stop here, you cannot do further. Your LCM will be given by 4 times 2 times 3 times 5. And what will it become? 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30. So LCM is coming out to be 120. I hope it is making sense to you all. Now if we move ahead, check the next question. 24, 32, 40. There are multiple ways you can proceed now. You can start dividing by 2. You can divide by 4 also. Right. So it is in our hand how we want to proceed. Let me do it with 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 10 is 40. Now they all are divisible by 2. You can now divide by 2. That is also correct. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. What will we get now LCM? It will be these two numbers, 4 times 2, 
these three numbers 3 times 4 times 5 4 times 2 is 8 these three multiples give 60 and our final answer is 480 let us take few more examples 14 21 and 28 see 14 21 28 clearly they all are divisible by 7 so you can divide by 7 7 times 2 is 14 7 times 3 is 21 7 times 4 is 28 now 2 3 and 4 they all are not having any common divisor but you are not supposed to stop here because there are two numbers 2 and 4 which are still can be divided by 2 so you can further continue this question now this is the special case which we have not covered in our previous three parts you can divide by 2 you will get 2 times 1 is 2 3 will remain as it is you are not dividing it and 2 times 2 is 4 so one step extra we have done when even all are not divisible but at least two should be divisible to continue the question two numbers two and four were divisible that is why i continued and now your lcm is these two left numbers seven times two and last three numbers one time three times two it will become three times two is six 84 is the lcm similar question one more we have taken like 10 20 and 40 10 20 40 choice is yours you can divide by 10 because clearly it is visible all are divisible by 10 so why to take much time 10 times 1 10 times 2 and 10 times 4 you can further continue the question even we will have to because 2 and 4 two numbers are there which can still be divided by 2 so it is 2 times 1, 2 times 1 and then 2. Now you can stop it because uh, 1, 1 and 2 you cannot divide it by any common divisor. So your LCM will be 10 times 2. Then these 1, 1, 2. Your answer will be 40. It will give you 40 as an LCM. So do remember even if two numbers are divisible by a common divisor you can continue dividing you will stop only if you get the three numbers which cannot be further divided even the two numbers cannot be divided then you will stop the question i hope you are clear with the division method try out few different questions and if you find any problem in any question you can write in the comment box thank you so much